Oral sex is now the number one leading risk factor for throat cancer, and I'm gonna explain why. It's caused by a virus called HPV, which is known to cause anal and cervical cancers as well. Despite many young girls being vaccinated against the leading cancer-causing strains of HPV, which don't necessarily protect against the wart-causing strains, which are also a type of HPV, the incidence of throat cancer, which you can see in red hair, has been slowly rising since the mid-90s. One explanation for this is liberal sexual practices. The important thing here isn't the number of times you've performed oral sex, but the number of different partners that you've done it with. The baseline risk of throat cancer is actually pretty low, 0.2% in women and 0.7% in men, but performing oral on just five different partners increases that risk by two and a half times. Of course, it's easy to just say to get with fewer partners, but if that's not an option for you, then you should be aware there's barrier protection against viral transfer during oral as well. It's called a dental dam. 